सिक्यूज नंबर फर्स्ट एरिया अंडर द कर्व फॉर फोर्स डिस्प्लेसमेंट ग्राफ इज इक्वल टू डिस्प्लेसमेंट वर्क पावर आर एनर्जी सो एफ वी हैव सोल्यूशन इज एफ वी हैव फोर्स ऑन वाई एक्सिस एंड डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑन एन एक्सिस देन द एरिया अंडर फोर्स टाइम ग्राफ विल बी इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू हाउ डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू एफ डी सो एफ वी स्टडी द एरिया अंडर एफ एन डी then its product of fd is equal to w so this will give us w the second is slope of work time graph is equal to displacement acceleration power r energy this was the about the area and this is about the slope so if we call study the area under two qualities like two function like curve and displacement so we will multiply it those these so as there was f and d so in this case this was f and d in multiplication of f d give us w so the area is the area of under f and d give us work the next is slope so about the slope of work time graph we will divide the first by second so work divided by t is equal to what we know that p is equal to w divided by d so slope of work time graph give us power option c in first case the option right was work third number work done will be maximum ang angle between f and d is 0 degree 45 degree 90 degree 180 degree so we know that w is equal to fd cos theta we also know that that cos 0 is equal to 1 cos 90 is equal to cos 90 is equal to 0 and cos 180 is equal to Minus one, and the result is F D zero and minus F D by putting these angles in this. So the work done will be maximum if the angle is zero. So at zero the degree the the work done is maximum. This are they can ask for when will be the work zero. So if the degree is ninety, then work will be zero. This is M C Q number five. and they can also ask that when will be the work negative so minus fd is we give obtain it by 180 degree so this is in mcq number 6 the next is work done has unit of newton meter joule kilogram per meter kilogram meter square second square r all of these so we know that w is equal to fd the unit of f is newton and d of unit is meter and we also call newton meter as joule so newton meter is right joule is right so what about the option c we know that w is equal to f d r f is equal to m a d where unit of m is kilogram area is meter per second square while the unit of d is meter so we will get kilogram meter square into per second square so option c is also correct no so the right answer is option d all of d so this is and these are possible in sqs on topic work work done in conservative field fields no need to derive any equation but just remember that work done in conservative power so in sqs number 13 is unit of power is joule per second watt newton meter so we know that p is equal to w divided by t w is equal to joule and t is a second so joule per second is the unit of power also joule per second is equal to watt so second unit of power is watt a third is we know that p is equal to w divided by t r w is equal to fd by t r we know that make little bit changes in the option so all of these may be right so we noted w is equal to f d by t r w is equal to f v is equal to newton meter per second so option d is also correct so the correct option is all of these mcq number 14 is choose correct equation p is equal to w divided by p is equal to f d by t p is equal to f v so we already derived it P is equal to W divided by T or W is equal to F D, so we can also write F D by T as V is equal to D by T, so we can also write that P is equal to F V. The dimension of power is we know that P is equal to 
W divided by T dimension of work is ML2 T to the power minus 2 and divided by T is equal to ML2 and T to the power minus 3. So option C is correct and this is the dimension of power. In sequence 14 is 1 kilowatt hour is the unit of 1 kilowatt hour is equal to 36 3.6 joule 3.6 mega joule or 36 mega joule so 1 kilowatt hour means 1 kilowatt hour so making in, in as si we know that 1 is equal to 1 k is equal to 1000 watt is the unit of work and hour is the unit of time so making it in second si so 1 hour is 3600 second so second is the unit of time so we will get that 3600 multiplied by 1000 we will get 3.6 mega work into second so work multiply by watt multiply by second so we know that p is equal to w divided by t or w is equal to p t is the unit of power is watt in the unit of t is second so w multiply by t is the unit of work so the unit of work is joule work watt per second is equal to joule so 3.6 mega joule so 1 kilowatt hour is equal to 3.6 mega joule r ah, mcq number 17 is kilowatt on kilowatt hour is the unit of power energy time in none of these so we know that P is equal to W divided by T. The unit of power is watt. Unit of work is joule. And the unit of time is second. So we can write that joule is equal to watt multiplied by second. Or watt higher units is kilowatt. And the second higher unit is hour. So kilowatt hour is the unit of work. Work or energy. So work or energy is same. So option B is correct. 1 horsepower is equal to what? So, in British engineering system, the unit of power is horsepower denoted by HP. That's numerically equal to 1 horsepower is equal to 746 watt. MCQ number 19 is a 70 kilogram athlete runs upstairs in 4 seconds. His power is Dumra watt. So, 77, 777 or 77 double zero. So, we know that P is equal to W divided by T or P is equal to in this case is moving is athlete is moving upstairs so a change in potential energy occurs so we will write P E divided by T or potential is equal energy is equal to M G H by T his mass is 70 kilogram G is constant 9.8 he went upstairs at a distance of 4.5 meter I forget upstairs of 4.5 meter so putting the h here 4.5 and time is 4 second so calculation these we will get 77 double zero so option d is correct now let's solve mcqs so mcqs number 20 20 is if mass of object is double its kinetic energy becomes two times four times five times so we need kinetic energy is equal to half m v square so i also know that kinetic energy is equal to half m making v double so we know that replace v by 2 v so v square so we will get half m 2 into 2 is equal to 4 and 2 into v is equal to v square are making 4 on the first we will get 4 into half m v square half m v square is equal to kinetic energy so it is increased by 4 times so option b is correct and next is the consumption of energy by 60 by 60 watt bulb in 2 second is how much so we know that p is equal to w divided by t we are so w is equal to pt so power is 60 watt and time is 22 second so 60 into 2 is equal to 120 watt second that is 120 joule so energy consumption is 120 joule 22 number in secure is power is defined as dot product of f and d f and m and f and v so we know that 
P is equal to W divided by T. We are showing that W is equal to F D by T R F S by T R F S by T is equal to V. W is equal to F V. In sequence number twenty-three is F two bodies A and B of such mass that A has double the mass of B and V and B is moving two times the velocity of and B is moving two times the velocity of A. Find kinetic energy of A ratio kinetic energy of B. So we know that kinetic energy of A is equal to half m v square mass of m velocity of A divided by half mass of B and velocity of B A to square. In the question, they give you that A has double the mass of B. So the mass of A is equal to double the mass of B. So m is equal to two m b. And next, the given is b is moving two times the velocity of a. This is the velocity of b, and this is the velocity of b. So velocity of b is two times that of v a. Putting these values in the equation, we will give, get that half cancel with half. We will get that m is equal to two m b. M is equal to two times the mass of b, and velocity of a square divided by Mass of b into velocity of b is equal to time velocity of a into square. So mass of b cancel with mass of b, we will get two v a square divided by two to the power two is equal to four or v into a square is equal to v a square. V a square is equal to the two cancel with four, we will get one divided by two. The answer is one ratio. Two option is equal to one ratio two, two ratio two, or c is equal to two ratio one, d is equal to none. So one ratio two is the correct answer for such an MCQ. Ratio five goes upstairs, taking time in the ratio of five ratio four. The ratio of their power is what? So is there are two boys? So, for easiness, we will say one boy is A, and the second boy is B. The next, the question says that the ratio of their weight is four ratio five. It means the weight of A is four, and the weight of B is five. Next, they say that the time for five ratio four. So, time for A is five, and time for B is four. So, the ratio of their power is we know that. Two point P A divided by P B. We know that P is equal to W divided by T. As they are moving upward stairs, so potential work will be replaced by potential energy that is equal to m g h. So m g h divided by T. So W is equal to m g. So we can write W h divided by T is equal to W h divided by T. As height is same, so we can write W a divided by T a is equal to W b divided by T B so W A is four divided by T A is five. Next W B is five. T B is four. We can also write that multiply by four by five. Four four was our sixteen. Five five was our twenty-five. So sixteen ratio twenty-five is the correct answer. The question is: The man has mass m eighty kg. He tried himself to rope after passing it over pulley. He pulls the other end of rope where v is equal to by v of fifty meter per second. What is pull power he is he is using? So it means the question says that a man passes a pulley. He tried tired himself with a he tried. Himself with the pulley, and by second hand he pull the pulley and he moves upward. As he moves upward with the velocity of fifty centimeter per second, so he is working some done. So we have to ask to find power. So we know that P is equal to W divided by d. We can also say that P is equal to F d by d. 
where f d by t is equal to f v and we can say that f is equal to w r v r w is equal to m g v so main has mass of is 80 kg g is 9.8 where velocity is 0.5 converting centimeter per second to velocity we will get 0.5 for second so we for easiness write 10 is speed of 9.8 and further we will write 0.5 into pi of pi 10 so cancel with this 5 into 0 is equal to 0 8 5s are 40 so 500 we will get 400 what is the answer? Auto point to pico, nano micro milli, centi, auto point to pico, nano micro milli, set up no chitti, 2 10 is to power minus 2. So, 400 watt is the answer. Or to write it, we can write 0 0.4 kilo watt. Is there is no 0 0.4 kilo watt? So, 0 0.39 kilo watt is the best or correct answer.